Hello, this is Alan Brooks, and welcome to another Mandela Effect video. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the United States and South America, their geographical Mandela effects, and how they've changed from what a lot of people remember. And I've got evidence. I've got the smoking gun. I've got the hacked emails. I've got it all. Right now, we're going to look at it because I want you to like me right now. That's what I want. And so we're going to look at actual photographs, drawings, watercolors, and stuff of people that have drawn these things. And it's called residual evidence. We're going to look at that about North and South America. And we're also going to take a look at Florida. You know, there's something odd about Florida in the way it looks. It looks like it used to have some geographic Viagra, but it in, in recent years it's changed. I mean, uh, maybe it lost its prescription or something because the shape of Florida is, is going weird now it's going down it's going downward if you look at this map here this is a map from the show counting on I saw on the wall of a show Florida is sticking out more it's got it's excited to see me and you know here's another one where it's a map from uh, you know uh, the, from Google Google Maps it shows Florida's excited to see me again. But then here's one that's from, um, you know, the TV show Waters World or whatever that's called. And I took this picture. And look at look at the shape of Florida. It's, it's nothing like what the other ones are that I'm showing you. Now, sure, it could just be the angle. <laughs> Another funny story there. But anyway... Um, it, I don't think so. It looks like it's more than that. I've noticed that in several, like here's here's one of these world maps. Uh, you notice Florida's painting, pointing downwards towards South America. And like here's another map where it's, you know, it got its prescription. It's pointing back upwards. And so, you know, I think it's the newer one when it went downwards. So maybe he's getting old. He needs uh, He needs to get some extra Viagra now because he's lost his prescription. I don't know. But there's also this... Um, you know, the silver dollar, an Eisenhower silver dollar. Look at the back. They stamped on it. Uh, again, Florida's going downwards. And it's also, what I wanted to talk about, too, was this relationship between South and North America. You know, I noticed uh, that North America's changed. When I was growing up, you know, I've got a pretty much of a photographic memory, and I remember uh, Florida being, um, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, South America being directly under North America. That's why it's called South America. Right now, it's been moved under the Mandela effect about 1,200 miles to the east. Gee, how did they do that? I don't know. I don't know how they're doing all of this. It's like some sort of technology where they can go into parallel universes and use computers or something to affect our, our known history. They've done it with a lot of things, which I don't need to go into. Most of you know about them. You know, like, uh, Luke, I am your father. A famous line is not that anymore. It's, no, I am your father. Which I conjecture, that means the devil wants to be our father. He wants to come in and rule us. Uh, for the end of time, like the Bible says, he's going to be thrown down to this world for the last three and a half years when the Antichrist reigns. But I don't want to talk about religion too much because, you know, you want to see the real evidence. So anyway, this coin is pretty amazing. They would no way strike a coin and design a coin and be, you know, 1,200 miles off on the relationship between South and North America. That defies credulity, people. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. No common sense anyway, but look at that. The coin is struck. It's been in production, and North and South America is the way I remember it. South America is underneath North America. It's not Southeast America. Here's another example. You know, I'm going to go through a few examples here where, you know, the new wave North and South America are. You know, North and South America is now Southeast America. It's 1,200 miles to the east. It's almost touching Africa, for God's sake. You know what I mean? And, uh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said God's sake. For, for Christ's sake, whatever. I don't mean to blaspheme. I love God with all my heart. So, anyway. Um, so, 
that's what I wanted to talk about today with several of these other examples of real world photographs that I have that show the old world South America. I mean, there's a cartoon with the Simpsons that show it. You know, that's part of the residual evidence. We can find cartoons or drawings or carvings that have what the real world was before the Mandela effect change it from the start of time. And there's a Superman cartoon, which is really cool here, which shows it the right way. And, it, um, you know, there's another cartoon here that shows it the right way. There's a couple of other maps. And, you know, it's, it's, you know, you can't be this far off just by someone misdrawing a little bit. You wouldn't mismint a coin. You know, you wouldn't have, I think there's a satellite photo that shows that here too. You know, I'm showing several old earth geographical proofs of residual evidence where North America's over South America. And one of the other things that people have noticed is that Baja, California... Uh, is about half the length, it's twice the length of what it used to be under our uh, old reality, which, you know, again, it's getting back to that Viagra deal. Maybe Baja got some really extra Viagra too, so now it's twice as long as it used to be. <laughs> anyway, that's just another amazing fact about the Mandela effect, how there's geographical changes all over the world. You know, Australia is not down under anymore, it's, it's an upper. Uh, you know, Madagascar is now angry at your automobile. Anyway, that's just a joke there. But, you know, there's just all sorts of evidence that something is somehow they're changing our realities, they're changing our continents, and they're changing our products. Like Depends is now Depend. So that's maybe why the continents are changing. Maybe they're incontinent. I don't know. Anyway, so North and South America, it's just crazy. I mean, there's people that have written in on stories on these videos that say, you know, I used to live in New Brunswick, Canada. I was I lined up in my time zone with the with eastern far eastern part of Brazil. But, you know, now that can't be anymore. It cannot be that way. Can you see that people? It's impossible. So, however they're doing it, it's they've done it and North America is now uh, way, way, way out of whack with South America. Here's some other pictures. And South America, Southeast America, Baja California, is now twice as long as it used to be. And Florida is now pointing downwards. You know, it's just not as happy to see us all as it once was. You know what I'm saying? So these are just some more photographs I'm showing here before we go. And I just... You know, want you to see them. This is real residual old earth evidence that proves that we're not all losing our mind, that it's not all just misremembering. And no, people, map makers, coin makers, and people who draw things, they would not be 1,200 miles off, would they? No, they wouldn't. I mean, I just think this is the smoking gun again, that how our world is being manipulated by the forces of darkness so they can come in and rule us one day. Aliens, I believe, somehow will be involved with Islam. As the Bible says, Antichrist will be 666. And the Bible talks about at the end of time, there's a great delusion which will fool everybody into worshiping some sort of alien uh, leader, perhaps allied with the Antichrist. And so this is how he could do it. He could fool everybody by changing our history. Because it even says in the Bible, you know, Daniel, it talks about um, the the Antichrist will seek to change the times and the laws. And, you know, this is the times, people. You know, Not the New York Times, but the times. He'll seek to change the times. Our times are being changed. They're changing our known history. You know, it's crazy. Just, you know, like the Pentagon crash. It's, um, you know, I 100% remember 9-11, you know. And it was my birthday, 9-11. But, you know, I remember nobody was killed on the ground for that part of the uh, Pentagon was under construction. But now, under our revised history, 130 people were killed on the ground, plus the people in the airplane. So isn't that psychopathic? Another uh, another one that I, you know, is, is different is, is the, the Statue of Liberty it used to be on Ellis Island, and now it's on Liberty Island. And it was attacked in 1916 by the Germans. They blew up a, a depot where, you know, the torch has been closed for 100 years. So, you know, that, then you can see people are writing in on some of these videos where uh, they went to the torch in the 80s and the 90s. So it hasn't been closed. So, you know, our 
like the photograph in Michael Fox and Back to the Future in his hand, and then the guitar, things have been changing and they're affecting our reality and our memories and we don't know what to do anymore. So we can pray, we can ask God to change things back to the way they were and get this thing destroyed like CERN. CERN is the devil, people. It's opening up a portal between us and demonic worlds. Here's some faces from the demon stream at CERN. So anyway, this is Alan Brooks signing off. <laughs>